Hey, what's up guys, Auto Fanatics. So, I'm gonna be doing a little detailing videos today specifically on tire dressing and tire dressing applicators. Now, I show a lot of this stuff on the channel, but the reason I'm doing this video is because there's two new solutions that I got recently that I wanna talk about. This one is from Obsessed Garage. Uh, this is kinda of like a modified detailing brush for tire dressing. This is probably only gonna be good for a sprayable tire dressing. So I, I picked up some Jay Leno's Garage tire dressing at AutoZone recently. Primarily, I use Mega Gloss and Hull Shot. This is another pretty good gel type tire dressing. It's called Ultra Tire and Trim. This is pretty good. Does not last as long as they're claiming, but I actually still have it in my detailing arsenal and I use it. Now, this is the tire applicator that I usually use. This is like, a, I think it's called Hex Logic. And the reason I like this one is because I don't have to wear gloves while I'm dressing the tires. Now, conventionally, a lot of guys are using these you can pick these up on Amazon or any of the like chemical guys or any of those shops online. Uh, they do have some pros and cons. The one thing about this one is that this one does tear a lot. Uh, it is good that it has a plastic grip so you don't actually have to wear gloves, you know, dressing your tires. That's just one of those things that just annoys me. I don't like to wear gloves all the time when I'm detailing my cars. Uh, this is just another one. This one's from Cerakote. This one's from someone else. And I'm going to do a demonstration using the foam applicators. And then, like I said, generically, I've also used a wax foam applicator. These things work great. The only thing is the product will saturate through the pad and you do have to actually have to wear gloves using this. So this is the Obsessed Garage brush. You can see here, it's just a little bit of a fanned out detailing brush. I'll show you guys that. And this is another interesting one. It actually has a cool little holder. And I saw an Instagram ad and I just ordered it up. And these are on Amazon. These are like for under 10 bucks. You can kind of see it here and you hold it like this in between your fingers. I actually didn't think this was gonna work, but I'm gonna show you guys in a demo today. We're gonna to do two tires on my AMG GTR. I just put some brand new Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. I'm gonna show you specifically why I like certain methods and certain products for application and why I dislike them. Uh, number one, on all my high performance cars, we have this little recess over here. It's kind of called like the, the edge guard to sort of protect the rim. Now, certain applicators, work best to get in there and certain ones don't. So we're gonna start the demonstration. I'm gonna show you guys between using a gel type of product, we'll do a spray product. And then we're gonna go on to my Alfa Romeo Stelvio, which has a larger sidewall, also with a high performance tire. And then we're gonna do a demonstration on that. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you guys my final thoughts as far as what I think is the best ones to have uh, in your detailing arsenal. Because this one I've been trying out, I think this one has some limitations. I don't know um how much they actually engineered and thought this one out i know um obsessed garage came out with it but i think they just may have just branded it you can kind of see there um but there's actually some issues with this that i see right off the top and i'll show you guys exactly why in the demonstration right now let's get started all right guys for the first demonstration i'm going to use the newest one that i just got which is the obsessed garage detail brush now this is a type of brush applicator that you're probably not going to be able to use a gel type of product with it i just think this is designed for a sprayable product now the reason I don't use a lot of sprayable products is number one, you gotta spray it. You actually can get overspray onto the paint, onto the wheel, and also you get it on your driveway long enough, it will make your driveway slick. So I'm gonna take a little bit and we're gonna put some of the Jay Leno's Garage product on here. We're gonna load it up. We're just gonna brush it on. Now, the one thing I'll tell you, it does lay out the product nice and evenly, okay, on the actual sidewall. But the one issue that I'm going to tell you you're going to run into is that the bristles on this brush are a little bit too soft. Now, I came up with an idea in my head on how to make this a better solution. I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to be in the brush manufacturing and engineering business. But this is where you run into an issue. And I'll move the camera. As we go here, I can't get product into this little recess, this little concave recess without completely covering the edge of the, of the rim. Okay, you kind of see it there in the video? So this is where I would say this is a limitation of the design of using something like this if you have high performance tires. Now, I'm getting it in there, but I'm also creating a secondary mess that I have to go with a rag and I have to clean the edge of the rim. And that's something you can see there. There's something I would try to eliminate and I do eliminate when I use some of my other methods. So that's the Obsessed Garage brush. Let's try this new little guy on the other side of the rim. All right, guys, so now we're gonna try this new little gadget. Now, this one's really interesting, whereas the Obsessed Garage has a very loose brush bristles. This one, if you look carefully, 
it almost feels like velvet. Very, very tightly dense, packed, short bristles, really, really cool holder. And you actually get a little storage compartment so you don't damage your cabinet or wherever you're gonna put this thing for storage. So this one here, we're gonna actually use some Autofanatic Mega Gloss because the bristles are denser. We're gonna put a couple of drops on there like that, kind of rub it in. And we're gonna go like here. Now, as you're using this type of applicator, you could feel there's a lot more resistance. And then you could kind of go in there carefully and get that little edge guard area really, really nicely. Okay, just like that. Now I'm getting a little bit on the edge of the rim. It's not 100% perfect, but I just wanted to show you guys these different applicators and you kind of be the judge of that. And I'll put links in the video if you guys want to try them out, but this is the stuff that I'm using. Okay, now if you want, we'll try it with a spray product. Now I'm not gonna go and clean this out just for the video. I'm just gonna use it on the fly just to show you guys. We really just wanna show you the application method. So I do like that I can rest the brush right up against the angle and go all the way down and get a nice consistent finish. Now that's something that you can't do with this particular brush, it's just not happening. So let's do one of the other tires and then we're gonna move over to the next vehicle. All right guys, on this demo, we're gonna use the Autofanatic Mega Gloss, which is an SIO2 based gel formula. We're gonna use one of these hex foam pads and then the other side, I'm gonna use the hex grip pad. So we're just gonna load some product up. This is a brand new one. And you guys could see. The good thing about these foam applicators is that you actually could get into a lot of the detail of the tire, okay, which I really, really like. Now, this is a brand new pad, so we're gonna to have to get more product. So now, let's go into over here, and it does a pretty good job. I just don't like holding this one. This one doesn't feel very good uh, ergonomically. I just don't like the feel of it. And being that it's brand new, it's gonna use up a lot more product. So when these things are primed, and you tend to use them often, you don't need a lot of product to do each tire. So this is where I think the foam is an advantage is when you have this edge guard, this concave edge guard on your high performance ZR rated tires, that's where you, you're able to get more control precisely. So that's that one. Now we're gonna switch over. We're gonna use this one. This is the conventional one that I show in a majority of my wash and detailing videos. So this one's already primed. We don't need a lot of product. Just rub it in there like that. And I'll show you guys why. I think this one is probably my favorite. Okay, as I'm going around, I got the circumference nicely covered. Now, if you look carefully, okay, I actually have some product that came off from the edge. So what I do is I take my thumb and I put pressure just like this. And I safely get that edge guard completely covered consistently. I don't get any material on the edge of the rim and I don't have to wear gloves. So my fingers right now are not slimy or greasy and this seems to work really, really well. So this is what I use in all my detailing videos. Now the brushes is not something that I've conventionally shown, but since I got those recently, I wanted to show you guys to see what you guys prefer. Do you prefer a foam applicator or do you prefer a brush? Post it in the comments below and have you tried the brushes? What is your method uh, or technique or specialty process of getting it into this area without getting it onto the edge of the rim? Or is it susceptible that you already know you're gonna get it on the rim and you're gonna go and do a secondary process of wiping the rim? I just try to eliminate that uh, as much as possible just because there's just more towels that we don't need to waste and get dirty. You can kind of see it there. So that tire, is perfectly dressed. There's nothing on the edge of the rim using one of these guys right here. That one I'm not a huge fan of. And then this is the one we did, we did with the brushes, okay? So I think the brushes do have some limitations and we're gonna move over to the Alfa Romeo Stelvio with a much larger sidewall now and we'll conclude the rest of this video. All right guys, we're over on the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. We're gonna be using the Obsessed Garage brush. So we're gonna do the front wheel with the two brushes, we're gonna do the rear wheel with the foam applicators. So, I'm just gonna be using the same stuff. 
load up the brush. I just got it all over my hand. Just grab a towel. So now this is a much larger sidewall. And the one thing I do like using this brush on these sidewalls is that it really has no resistance. It, it glides across the sidewall. So you're able to get a nice even coating of your liquid tire dressing. I don't think this brush or any of the brushes work well with the gel type product. I don't think that's really what it's designed for. Now, we have really good coverage. We're painting the product on, very simple. Now, we gotta switch the camera because this is where we run into that dilemma again. We're gonna pull back. Let's get the camera set up right there. Now, this tire also, we have this edge guard that goes all the way across. Now, as I try to get in there with the brush, I'm still getting some product on the rim. And the, for some reason, the edge of the brush is not able to really access this area unless you dab it like this to get the product in there. Okay, so this, this is a limitation of these brushes is if you really wanna cover the sidewall, this is fine. But if you wanna cover the edge guard, that concave recess adjacent to the rim, I don't think this is gonna be the greatest solution unless you don't mind doing a secondary wipe with a towel. So let's try the other handheld brush right now. So I do like that it comes with a little holder. We're gonna spray it. Okay, we got it loaded up. And I gotta say, this does feel pretty cool to control in between your two fingers. And the nice densely packed firm bristles really does get in there really, really well. What I like about this one is you have really good control. Now I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna cut the edge, just like you're doing edge molding in your house or crown molding, you cut the edge of the brush and that's where this one does a fantastic job because the bristles are shorter and the bristles are stiffer. They're, they're tightly packed and they're a little bit stiffer. So this actually, this is a good applicator. I actually really, really like this. So if you guys are using a liquid based, a sprayable tire dressing, definitely check, that, check out these new applicators. I'll post links to these. These are like 10 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I actually think this is a really, really good product. And as far as a brush goes, this one I think is my favorite so far. Let's go over to the rear wheel. We'll do that with the foam applicators and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right guys, we're over at the rear wheel. We're gonna start using one of these little guys. We're gonna be using some Auto Fanatic Mega Gloss because I just think on the foam applicators, the thicker dressings work better. So it's a much larger sidewall than the AMG. The AMG's got like a rubber band tire. So on this type of sidewall, this applicator does a great job. Okay, we're gonna do half the tire with this one and half the tire with the other one. Then I'm gonna take my finger and try to get it in there, but I can't get it in there as good as the other one because of this firm backer. That's where I think this becomes a limitation. So I said, I can't get into this edge. I can't get into the edge right here because I can't put my finger on it. Whereas when I take this one, I could put my finger right onto there okay and my finger is literally right over the foam going into that recess to perfectly cover that recess that's why i think in my opinion this right here this is probably going to be the best tire applicator for high performance cars uh, suvs now i think if you have a, a car with knobby tires this is probably not going to work the best that's where i think the obsessed garage brush might be an advantage if you have like a bronco uh, a lifted jeep or a raptor that might work really, really well because those tires don't have this edge guard, okay? Now I'm just using my finger to go all the way around. Now that tire is perfectly dressed in seconds, consistently, evenly, and we got the edge guard. I got nothing on the rim. There's nothing on my fingers. I go all the way around. This is completely clean because I'm able to go and put my pressure with my finger and put it right into that recess. So let's conclude the video right now on which one you guys think is the best solution. All right guys, to conclude the video. So I showed you guys the new Obsessed Garage tire dressing brush. I think it's got some pros, but I think it has a couple of cons 
that just don't make sense for my kind of cars and my tires and what I'm using. I also prefer to use my tire dressing, which is a gel, and it's, a, it's got a much more heavily bodied and lasts a lot longer. Good brush, I definitely think this could use some redesigning to be proprietary to get into those recesses on high performance tires. I think this applicator is decent if you're gonna go foam. It's not my favorite because it's got the hard back. So that eliminates your finger from putting the even pressure, like I showed you guys in the back, inside that bead area. Uh, so I don't really recommend these. I, don't, I think these, this is not the best one on the market. You could always do a wax applicating pad. The only problem is you're gonna have to wear gloves using it, but this is great because it's easy contour. They don't last very long because the foam breaks down over time. So this can get a little bit of annoying of buying a pack of these because they get expensive and then throwing them away. This one here, I just don't like them because they rip. And same thing here. You have no way of putting your finger it behind the foam to get into that edge guard. So I don't really like these at all. I don't think these are very, very effective. This applicator is good for like bumper trim and stuff like that. Uh, but I still think a wax applicator is gonna do a better job. This is my favorite. This is the one that I use all the time in a lot of my videos. I think this has the most versatility. It lasts the longest. I, I literally buy a pack of these and they last me for an entire year. They do rip over time if you're a little bit rough or if you're you know, a little bit aggressive on the sidewalls, but I still think this foam applicator is probably gonna be the most versatile and the most effective to do what I showed you in the video today. And I also want, recommend that you guys maybe check out this one. This is a new one, the new little brush. It's got a cool little holder. I actually like the feel of it when you have it in between your fingers to control it and contour it. It does do a good job. This does work better with a sprayable dressing versus a gel type dressing. So that's pretty much it. So post in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think are your favorites. Have you guys used this brush or any brush to do tire dressing? If you do, what is your technique and what is your secret to get into that concave edge guard recess without getting it on the rim? That's the trick, without getting it on the rim. Because if you have to go over it with a secondary wipe, now you're increasing your time and it's not very efficient. And I'm all about getting it done quicker and more efficiently uh, than going back and doing things twice. So thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more content. I haven't done a detailing video in a while. I'll put links to all of these applicators, but to be honest with you, you're gonna wanna check this one out on Amazon and this one out on Amazon as well. And this brush, if you guys are interested, you can pick it up on the Obsessed Garage website. I believe he's the only one uh, selling this exclusively. And then all these other ones are on Amazon, but to be honest with you, I don't really recommend them. I think these are the two you're gonna probably want. And as far as tire dressings, I mean, I'm pretty much using Mega Gloss, it works great. The Jay Leno's Garage Sprayable is not bad. And this one, uh, the Ultra Trim Guard, this is decent. They were telling me that this lasts a lot longer than expected, but to be honest with you, I haven't seen really good results after a wash or after a rain, but this does have a solvent in it and uh, it does give a nice finish. It is it actually very expensive. I think it's like 30 bucks a bottle. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one soon.